joining us or not? No, I'm not sitting at chamber with her. I'm not sure what's going on between you two, but I want it sorted because I cannot stand the atmosphere in this house. Well, I've had enough of her. What has been going on between you two? Eh? Zack, so much gone on. What is it? <coughs> Where are you going? Anywhere but here. What do you want? Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it, when I got up early to come and see you? And bought you these, special, like. But you nicked them. Come on, what did you take me for? So, I don't even get a sorry for being stuck with your old grand for hours yesterday. OK. Well, come round and see me in your dinner hour. I'll make it up to you and show you how really sorry I am. Close the gate on your way out. Who's stolen my daffodils? Hi. You all right? Bit on edge. What time are you caught? Ten o'clock. I'll be all right. Well, I wish I could share your optimism. It's going to be difficult, but we'll manage somehow. Do you want me to come with you? A bit of moral support. You can't shut the surgery for the morning. No. No, you're right. This is our future. Is it? Don't sound so enthusiastic. I just don't want you rushing into this and then regretting it later. Patisserie, Vivienne. It's got a really nice ring to it. Yes, well, it sounds pretentious to me. Oh, Bob, it oozes cloth. The very name conjures up. Conjures up. France. Viv, you are getting two steps ahead of yourself. An interior designer, that's what I need. Someone like that Welsh fella, Llewellyn, whatever his name is. Now, he could transform this place into something that says Viv. This is getting out of hand. I am amazed at you, Bob. A businessman, can't you see the potential? I can see everybody crammed in our living room arguing about what channel they're gonna watch. <laughs> Don't be silly, Bob. We'll have the television upstairs. <laughs> Letitia! Oh, hi, Lisa. Last flowers. They're from Ken. Yeah. Where did Nick come from? I wonder where he sneaked off to this morning so early without his breakfast. He, he sort of apologised. Yeah, sort of. That's the most you'll get from him. Letitia, Kane can be very charming, but there's a side to him that isn't very pleasant. Lisa, I know what I'm doing. I hope you do. So we have to move. Well, we can't afford to stay. Well, where are we going to move to? Well, let's see if we can sell the place first. I'm good. I really like it here, Mum. Yeah, a lot of bad memories, though, eh? Yeah. Even so. Listen, I'm running late. We'll talk about it more tonight. See ya. Yeah. Do you want to move, Grandad? No. But your mum seems to think it's for the best. Are you OK with it? No, not really. But we have to. Hmm. Sit down, love. What? Just sit down. I haven't told your mum this yet, but my money's come through from the sale of my house. Now, I was going to tell her yesterday and offer to put it into this place. But, well, Grandad, that's brilliant! Ah, but your mum. I thought she'd be maybe happier to leave this place behind. She's not. You heard what she said. She was only saying that because she had no choice. Mm. Now she has. <laughs> Grandad, your ace! Mm, OK. <laughs> Chris, do you reckon we really need an estate manager? If we want to do things with the land, then yes, we do. Hmm. OK, well, do you want me to advertise, then? Yeah, you advertise and we'll draw up a shortlist together. Fine. There is... Uh, 
one job that needs sorting out now. OK, what's that? Evict Chloe. Evict Chloe? Yeah, we need Colin to view to house the new estate manager. I mean, you've got a problem with that? Chris, she's my best mate. It's a tough old world being the boss. They say you can never find the meaning of life in the bottom of a glass. It's barmaids and landladies that have all the answers, isn't it? I wish. I'm bored, Diane. Never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I'm missing working. Yeah, I'd miss getting up at five every morning and working a 12-hour, seven-day week. Yeah, I'm sick of Alan and Seth Armstrong pulling me in for cups of tea like I'm a member of their retirement club. All right, you ask for it. Do you want a job? Bernice gone and left you in the lurch. No, she's with her family. Yeah, I'm useless at pulling pints and making small talk. Jack, I'm talking about using your farming skills. I've got a wall that needs some TLC. Should we get in bed? Is that all you've got me round for, just to get me knickers? As if. Oh, have you got me round to babysit again? I don't know if you'll babysit me. <laughs> you know... Lisa tried to warn me about you today. Why? What she said? Just to watch her. She said you've got a murky past or something. Uh, oh, very murky. I've had six different wives, and they all died. Kane, <laughs> <laughs> mm. okay, don't. We haven't time. I've got to be back at work soon. It won't take a minute. Joke. <laughs> we'll see you later. Mm. See ya. Sorry, I, uh... Hi. Hi. Just forgot something in the lab. The lab? Lab. The laboratory. <laughs> right. Sorry, it's your accent. My accent? There's nothing wrong with my accent. Sorry, what'd you say? Hi, you're so funny. Do you, uh... Fancy going out with me sometime? Well, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I'd love to. Hey. Yeah. All right. So you're definitely moving then? It looks like it, yeah. You know, it might just be to a smaller house. Local? Yeah. We don't know for sure. All I know is my dad's definitely got a cell up. All right, bye. Bad news. How bad? Thousand pound fine and banned for a year. Oh, so weak. It was just one mistake, one stupid mistake, and now it's all turned into a total disaster. Hey, that were right, good Lisa. Carla. Except meat were a bit tough. So, where's Zach tonight, eh? You were expecting him, weren't you? Can't say I'm surprised, though. I don't know why you put up with him. All right, Peg. Hey. Hasn't changed. Peg. Hey. What a waste of space. I expect he's drinking himself silly down pub like other dingle men that I've known. Right. I have had enough of this. He hasn't come home because of you. Me? Yes. You! So I want to know the truth. What happened in the past that he can't even look you in the face? Why did he tell me you were dead? How should I know? Top. Same again. Another double isn't going to help, Zoe. I'm asking for a large whiskey, not advice. Bye. Sorry, I spoke. Bye. Heck, she's knocking them back. You look as if you're drowning your sorrow, Zoe. You could say that. Oh, what's happened then? I've lost 
my driving licence. Oh, well, that's not such a tragedy. Can't you remember where you last put it? Did you have to find a sense of humour today, you stupid woman? What have you said wrong? Mum? Hmm? Me and Grandad have decided we're going to stay here after our... I beg your pardon? Grandad's money's come through from his house and he's going to put it into here. Is this true? Yep. Has she badgered you into this? No, I haven't. Has she? No, Angie, I just want to help out. Would mean a great deal to me. Any road, this place would be a good investment for us. Of course, if you don't want us to share this place, we had one, that's fine with us. Fine. Right. What? That's it. I am taking you and your granddad to the Woolly. And I'm going to buy him as many pints as he can drink. Whoa! <laughs> now that's a challenge I really like. <laughs> Drunk. Yes, I'm celebrating. I've been banned from driving for a year. You've been banned? Don't gloat. We're not gloating, Zoe. We're really sorry. Are you? Yes, we are. Is there anything I can do? Yes. You can buy me another drink. Trouble. Oh, what? Since you go home, Dad, Lisa's dead mad at you. Go home? When my boys have just arrived, I don't think so. <laughs> Any road, I've got a fatherly duty to perform. Lisa's orders. And what's that then? She wants me to have a word with you, Ken. What about? Birds and the bees. Well, well, birds mostly. <laughs> mostly a bird. The t shirt. In one. <laughs> Get him in, Sam. <clears throat> I should have guessed that Cain was Zach's son and not Shadrach's. Oh. Cain and Zach, so alike. Oh, aye. Oh, they are, Lisa. There's no denying it. They might look alike, but they're not like each other. Both men's men prefer getting drunk with lads instead of coming home. Both pig-headed and obstinate. But you know who Zach reminds us of most of all. Wouldn't like to guess. Who? His dad. His dad? Oh, I. I look at Zach sometimes and, and likeness frightens us. He's hardly ever mentioned his dad. Well, I'm not surprised. But, you know, when he does, I get the feeling he, you know, he idolised him. Idolised him? He were a lazy, good-for-nothing bully. Spent more time in pub than ever he did at home. What's the difference between a man and a woman? Yeah, Sam. No, this will be good. Men don't have breasts. The difference between a man and a woman is this. Huh? Women think different. No, listen. So. That means what we have to do is this. We have to pretend that we understand them. Because we don't know. We never will. But the, the trick is to make them think that we do. You've got to show them some respect. Yeah? Even if they don't deserve it. Half the time they don't. <laughs> hey? are, you, are you following me, Drift, eh? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. I think this chat's going to change my life. Good. Hiya. Welcome to Dad. <coughs> oh. Hello. Uh, this is Lucy. Lucy, my dad. Hi. I'll, uh, I'll go and get Victoria from her friends. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Exactly. See you again, Lucy. Yeah, see ya. Cool. Sometimes. Fifteen minutes, eh? Let's not waste it. <laughs> hey, no, no, I don't know what it is about, mate. But when I were in my twenties, I were, well, what the kids today might call a 
bird magnet. So you went out with two birds on the same day? I was shopping with Marlene in the horse and carriage and across the road in the bridge with Mary. Hey, I was going back and forth like I got a double dose of the runs. <laughs> <laughs> Has she already applied for planning permission? It's a nightmare. How can I stop her? Well, I can't be seen to interfere. No, no, I know. But how likely is it to go through? <laughs> it depends. On what? Well, if anyone objects. Cheers. 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 Thanks a lot, man. You had a word yet about the eviction? No. Well, now's your chance. So, how are you going to do your job without a car? It's my problem, not yours. What are you asking? Well, don't. Just mind your own business. Charming. Bev? No, I was being concerned for her. No car and trying to run a business all on her own. What do you mean on my own? I've got Paddy. Not for long. Oh, hasn't he told you? He's setting up his own practice. Oh, sorry, maybe I should just uh, mind my own business. You want me to move out? Yeah. Look, Chloe, I'm really sorry. You know, if it was up to me, you could oh, stay. No, it's OK. It's not your fault. You've been great to me anyway, like, no stay rent free. I'm sorry. Just give us a few weeks to find something, yeah? Shouldn't be a problem. What? Well, it's just we're interviewing for the estate manager's job next week. You want me out next week? So, Mrs Charity Tate, the millionaireess. Thought you could do out you wanted. <coughs> well, thanks, Dad, for giving us such an insight into women's minds. Any time, son. Dad, do, do you think I could have a big bird magnet? You all right? No, I've got to move out of the cottage. Chris Tate needs it back. Really? What are you going to do? I'd want to pay half the rent and I want my own room. Sure. And you can wipe that smile off your face. I'm only moving in with you because I've nowhere else to go. So, my love, how long do you reckon it'll be till you know whether you can open your calf? Shh. Sorry, no. What was that about a calf? Have you not told Dan much, kid? What? Well, I've applied for planning permission to turn my back room into um, a cafe. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Turning your living room into a cafe. What's the matter with that? Oh, yes, I can just see people flocking to your back room for a stale scone and a cup of cold tea. Well, excuse me, but it's going to be a very upmarket and salubrious establishment. Yeah. set up on your own? Oh, obviously it is. No. Well, no. how could you do that to me? I've done everything that's happened today. You know I really need you to keep the business afloat. I don't know who's been telling you all this. Was it Mrs Hope? Yes, it was. Right, well, she's got it wrong then. I, I, I'm not leaving the business. Well, she must have heard something. Well, uh... Paddy did consider it. Thank you very much, Paddy. Zoe. <laughs> Can you blame me? Sorry? Because if you want to know the truth, you've not exactly been pulling your weight round here, have you? You're hardly ever here. That's not true. I'm sorry, Zoe, but it is. Your personal life's become far more important than your work. You're, you're unreliable. And I'm too much responsibility's falling it onto me. She's having to come home now. You missed your tea, it's in the bin. Oh, well. 
We've been uh, putting the world to rights, haven't we, son? Oh, yeah? All right, we have. My dad were telling us about the birds and the bees, but mm. mostly about the birds. Oh, yeah, under your orders, my love, you know. I reckon I've learned how to treat a woman proper tonight, Lisa. Then you'd be the first single man that did. Hey, hey, my dad was telling us about the time when he went out with two women, but he Ooh. went out... <laughs> have, you, have you had a pleasant evening, ladies? Where's Sam? He's outside. Yeah, too much pop. I told you, Lisa, Zach's just like his useless dad. What was that about my dad? Yeah, we're just telling Lisa all about him. Huh? What was she saying? How he were a lazy, drunken, good for nothing waste. Well, he were twice the man you are. He were a vile tempered, nasty old. Oh, don't you sit there talking about my dad like that, you lying old crow! Zach! Zach, calm down! Lisa. Stay out of summer you know nout about. Look, your mum knew your dad far better than you did. Huh? Well, what else has she been saying? He left when you were eight years old. You hardly knew him. Left? He didn't leave. She killed him. Didn't you? You murdered him. Didn't you? Didn't you?